Namaste, this is Aditya and welcome to Shinka Marktech channel. Many of you have been asking me to do the videos on AEM authoring. So from this week, I am going to start the AEM authoring tutorial series. If you want to follow these videos in a sequence, then I am leaving the link of the video playlist in the description box. You can check it out from there. Let's get started with today's topic. Okay, so I have already done a video on what is Adobe Experience Manager and I have also done a video on how to install AEM jar. So if you haven't already watched those videos, I will link the link in the description box for the playlist of AEM authoring. You can watch those videos from that playlist. Okay, so today in this video, I'm going to explain you about uh, the in overall screens what are available in AEM okay so here once you log into the AEM instance so this is the page you will get on to okay so this will be the URL so in AEM it is better to remember this URL so because we will keep typing these URLs okay so once you get used to it you will directly type the URLs so this is the URL uh, in which you will be uh, there in the beginning so then uh, if you see here, you have something called as sites, right? So this is where you will create the actual websites. Okay, so this is the place. And here you have another screen called experience fragments. So in this screen, you go into the screen and you create the experience fragments. Okay, so what are these experience fragments? So experience fragments are used to manage the experiences. So for example, uh, if you want to show a particular layout with a particular color or with particular products to men versus women means you have you will have to create one experience uh, for men showing the men related products and one experience for women showing women related products okay so those experiences you will create in here okay so how we will create we will take it up later but you just know that if you have to create such an experiences personalized experiences then this is the place you will go and create it then you have something called as assets okay so if you go into these assets and files here you can upload all the images okay so if we go into here uh, vretail is a particular project okay so it's already out of the box existing project so i will go into that vretail and these are the language, different language versions which are available. In this, if I go into the English uh, language, then here I can see all the related products, okay, product related images. Basically, all the images will be uploaded here. So I can categorize it as shown here uh, based upon the, uh, based upon the different folders, I can categorize and then here I can upload the image. Okay, so if I have to upload a new image, I can click on this create button and I can click on these files and from this, I can upload any image I want into this AEM instance from my local computer. Okay, so this is how we create uh, or upload the images. Okay, so apart from this, we can also create what is called as content fragments. Okay, so this is the content fragment. So what is the content fragment? So content fragment is also like an experience fragment. Okay, so if I want, if I have to show the content fragment, I can go back to the English. And if you see here FAQ tab, right? If I click on this FAQ, and if I say uh, the company related FAQs, so here I have about uh, one of the FAQ, the real company, right? So there is one FAQ. So in this FAQ, you will have the question and answer. Okay, so this is one of the content fragment. Okay, so what's the difference between the content fragment and experience fragment? Okay, in the experience fragment, you will have the actual experience. Okay, uh, which means that it includes the color, it includes the layout, design, everything. Like for example, here, uh, experience fragment example can be like this. Okay, there is an image and you have the about us here, right? So this entire layout uh, will be built, the, including the colors and how it has to be shown on the mobile, how it has to be shown on the tablet, everything will be available in the experience fragment. Versus this content fragment, you will not have the colors, layouts and other style elements, you will just have the pure content, 
for example here what is the question what is the answer right so this content fragment will be used uh, especially if you have to deliver this content into different devices for example uh, you will have to show this uh, question and answers on the website also and you have your own mobile app which is uh, a native mobile app which is coded in android or ios and you will have to show this question and answers in those mobile screens also so that is when you will come into this uh, content fragments okay because this content fragments are pure content without any styles and this can be exported as a json format in a very easy way okay so that's the difference between the content fragment and experience fragment okay so if you have if i have to go back to the screen uh, in the main screen i will have to click on this menu adobe experience manager this menu so if i click on this then i will go back to the screen okay so here i am in assets if i click on this then i'll come back into the main screen where i started everything right so as i told earlier this is where i told we create the sites right so if i click on the sites here so this is where the actual websites are created for example this is the out of the box uh, website which is created okay so this is called as a root okay website root okay so if you see here the root url is content slash content slash we retail okay so this is the root website okay uh, then inside that there is a structure so this structure is called a site structure okay every website while we are creating will follow a particular site structure okay for example here is the root so inside the root we will have to go into the country okay so this is one of the page okay this is just nothing but a page okay we inside this root we just created a country specific page so this is the united states page right so similarly we will create uh, one page for canada one page for switzerland so this is as per the aem recommended structure okay inside the root you will have to first create the country related page okay so now if you see the url it is slash content slash we retail and then you will get the us right us is the country specific parameter here country specific code here okay so this is recommended because uh, the google and other seo engines will it will be easy for them to um, index this okay if you put it in uh, in as part of the country and then as part of the language then it will be easy for the google and other seo engines to accordingly show because these are the codes which google also will read so if any a person from united states is uh, uh, searching for a particular thing uh, though that company is present in multiple uh, countries it will uh, show the actual us related page because the user is searching from the united states similarly if he is searching from the switzerland though the company is the same the page it will show or index first is the switzerland okay so first uh, for us to suggest to the google uh, to show uh, or do the indexing like that in their search rankings we will have to put the country related page first okay so inside the country we'll have to select the language okay for the language also we'll create one one page and we'll use the language code here and this is also for the seo indexing purpose that if your source or main language selected in the browser is for example spanish then it will index the spanish related uh, page first versus the in english related page if your main language is english then obviously it will show the english related page so this is called as multi site manager functionality okay so you will have live copies and then uh, language copies if you are not aware of that in a video call what is aem i have already covered uh, this topic of uh, language copies and live copies and multi site functionality you can just quickly refer that video okay the link uh, for the playlist is in the description box okay so once uh, you came into this english so this english page will be our home page so uh, for example if i have to open this uh, home page then i will have to click here okay so there is a checkbox if you are able to see there is a checkbox here coming up right so here i can show it to you so this is the checkbox which is coming up right so i have to click on this checkbox 
so this will make uh, the page selected so then what i can do is i can click on the edit button here to edit this particular page okay so this is for the edit and here if you see there is something called as properties so these are the page properties so for example if i click on this properties so here i can edit uh, the page properties like for example what is the page title i'll have to show right what is the navigation title navigation title is nothing but if i have to show this particular page as part of the menus then what is the title i need to show okay so these are the uh, certain uh, properties which i can fill okay so these are all the out of the box properties which came as part of this uh, site okay so here these page properties we can create the custom page properties which developers can create okay and if you can see these are the various tabs we'll go in detail what are all these tabs in our uh, upcoming uh, videos but uh, now you can just know that there are multiple tabs as part of the properties okay you will have the thumbnail you will have some social media cloud surface so uh, any properties uh, related to the page you will have to click on this uh, checkbox and you will have to go to the properties and edit it okay so this is one of the screen which you will have to be aware of then if you want to edit the page then you just click on this page and edit it okay once you click on this page it will open like this so if you see it here it will open in the editor.html which indicates that this page is being opened in the edit view okay so this is how the page will open and you can just edit any of these views here any of these things here okay so how do we edit these things and what what are all uh, are there as part of this page editing what are all features are there this will uh, take up in our next video that's it for today jai hind